of hypothesis means you uh, you are interested to see the relationship between the variables okay analytical study so if you want to see the relationship between the variable in that case how many type of variable we have two type we see that okay so either qualitative quantitative that is the only two possibility so how many type of relationship is possible because relationship is between the two okay so how many type of relationship is possible qualitative versus qualitative quantitative versus quantitative qualitative versus quantitative that is the only possibility in simplest way if you are confused you are trying to remember this you have two gender male and female how many type of friendship is possible friendship between the male male female female male and female any other possibility no that is the only three possibility we have so same way if the data is of two type so let the first variable is qualitative and second variable is also qualitative so you want to see the relationship between the qualitative variable and qualitative variable for example uh, gender education what is the their gender male female education level educated non educated both are qualitative second possibility is both are quantitative okay hemoglobin level bmi oh you want to present the relationship between the, as as the hemoglobin level increase as the bmi increase hemoglobin level increase or decrease the third possibility is quantitative qualitative for example hemoglobin level gender hemoglobin level pregnancy status pregnant non pregnant so how this hemoglobin level is varying between these two categories okay this is the this is the possibility where we try to see the relationship between the variable and depending on this di different conditions we'll use different test okay and under the different conditions also there is some further conditions okay like if if it is uh, uh, qualitative and quantitative so how many groups because relationship is only possible between two so if there is two groups then it's fine between male hemoglobin between female hemoglobin how to means you can compare the hemoglobin level in male and female if there is more than two categories then again there is a question uh, which two categories because relationship is only possible between two you can define the relations for the two only okay so how to vary that between male female male other female other so there are three different subsection on that okay so depending on the conditions there are different tests and again the one important concept here is paired data or non paired data as we see the normally distributed or not so we'll use the different tests depend on it's normally distributed or not on normally distributed so if the data is normally distributed we use the different test if it's not normally distributed we use the different test here a little bit see till this situation is a concept but which test we will use that you need to remember okay so here little bit you need to remember the things also because there is a possibility that they will give you a scenario and they ask okay which test is appropriate here okay just to just to able to understand that you have an idea about the test how to how to see the relationship also okay so for the i'm going to skip this that is not important okay so the for first like qualitative we are categorical versus categorical so if it's categorical versus categorical we use the chi square test or fisher exact test now uh, one important aspect i uh, so paired data or non paired data that is also very important okay like it's normally distributed or not normally, normally distributed in the same way the data is paired or non paired what do you mean by paired so paired means if you collect the information from a participants in future again pre post so in that case you are collecting the information from the same participants two time so if you are collecting information from the same participants so the result from the pre and the result at the post is depending on the participant because it is from the same participant so the data is paired okay or if i will say left teeth and right teeth so 
if the participant is same and you are collecting the information from left and right and you want to compare the left right teeth information so the participant is same so there must be some relation between the left value and right value okay this is the paired condition so pairing will also define the, that uh, selection of the taste also so but these uh, means this will depend if if they will explain like okay the data is paired or not or they will provide the information that this is the condition so you from yourself identify oh data is paired here okay so depending on that we'll choose the different taste okay so if you are going to compare the two categorical variable we called it the association association between the variable like gender is associated with the education okay and we will use the chi square test or fisher exit test uh, i don't think they will further uh, go in depth and provide the information uh, about the chi square test is good or fisher exit test good because there is again concept that which test is good for means depending on the frequency of the cell estimated frequency of the cell okay so if they it, it's like see if the frequency is high then we use the chi square test but if the frequency become very low in one cell in that case we use a fisher exit but i i i don't think that uh, you'll go in depth otherwise you will forget everything so you just remember this thing like if we want to see the relationship between two categorical variables so you just read the question like if i will say uh, a, a researcher conducted a study to see uh the uh, the association of the uh, prevalence of the cancer with the history of the tobacco okay and they want to find the uh, uh, the difference is significant or not which taste is appropriate for this particular condition and they will give you t taste wilcoxon taste chi square taste mcnamara taste or if they will give you t taste wilcoxon taste fisher exit taste mcnamara taste so the procedure how to find this the first see we are trying to find the relation choose your first variable what is the first variable we are interested okay cancer what is the second variable we want to see the relationship with the second variable you just make a two box the first second the first box is the cancer second box is the tobacco history of tobacco so what is the cancer cancer is yes and no cancer yes cancer no what is the tobacco tobacco they are using tobacco not to using tobacco yes no means it is categorical variable using tobacco not tobacco again it is a categorical variable so we are interested to see the relation between the categorical variable versus categorical variable so what is the test possible for that chi square test fisher exit test mcnamara test so t test wilcoxon gone what is the remaining chi square test mcnamara test is the data is paired cancer is independent tobacco is independent no it's not paired independent thing mcnamara test gone what is remaining so the chi square test if the option is chi square you choose chi square if the option is fisher exit test you choose the fisher exit test clear this is the procedure you solve the problem okay otherwise you will last in the because see the, the the solution is very simple but normally what we did to confuse yourself we make the question big okay just to make you confused question is big but the answer is very small so then how to extract what you want just focus to your what you want okay you want to see the relation okay what is the first variable what is the second variable what is the type of first type of second very easy now yeah.